Our aim is to make Uniswap the most flexible and efficient AMM ever designed. LPs can provide liquidity with up to 4,000x capital efficiency relative to Uniswap v2. Hayden was teasing on Twitter recently, fit to burst with giddy excitement about the newest nuances of Uniswap. And now the cat's out of the bag. Uniswap version 3 revealed. And it's fighting talk from Uniswap, who's seen the rise of some hefty competition from One Inch and Sushi, to name a few, as well as increasing interest in Layer 2 and Alt Layer 1 options as well. More on that to follow, but first, a quick word on today's sponsor, Oasis Labs. Oasis is the leading privacy-enabled Layer 1 blockchain for DeFi. It was founded by Dawn Song, the award-winning professor from Berkeley. They've got some heavyweight backers like Andreessen Horowitz, Axel, Binance Labs, and more. And there's a stack of projects already building on them, alongside partners such as the Crypto Safe Alliance, with Binance, Chainlink, Balancer, Meta, and others. If you're interested in building a DeFi app, join the Oasis Hackathon until April the 16th. They've recently launched a new smart contract environment with full EVM and Solidity toolchain support and gas fees that are 99% lower than Ethereum. If you have a bigger project in mind, Oasis runs a large grants program with Wover. Oasis runs a large grants program with over 1.5 million USD in ROSE tokens available for funding DeFi apps. Visit their website at oasisprotocol.org to learn more. Now, back to unicorn goodness. Uniswap have released a new white paper to go with the announcement, and the key update is what they're calling concentrated liquidity. In this paper, we present Uniswap version 3, a novel AMM that gives liquidity providers more control over the price ranges in which their capital is used, with limited effect on liquidity fragmentation and gas inefficiency. And I tell you what, gas inefficiency keeps me up at night. Now, what this means is that liquidity providers can set minimum and maximum prices on their portion of any given pool, focusing their profit ranges on where the action is. There's also a new fee structure, allowing different pools to be created with different fees. Up to now, all trades in all Uniswap pools have had a flat 0.03% fee for trading. Now, while this fee historically seemed to have worked well enough for many tokens, it's likely too high for some pools, such as pools between two stablecoins, and likely too low for others, such as pools that include highly volatile or rarely traded tokens, says the paper that is white. The final big headline is probably the most profound. Think how many Uniswap clones there have been. And while that's the spirit of open source, the team clearly feel now's the time to get commercial, and so Uniswap version 3 core will launch under the Business Source License 1.1. Now this limits the use of the code in a commercial or production setting for up to two years, at which point it will convert to a general public license into perpetuity. Version 3 is set to launch on May the 5th, and when there are big changes, that means big chances. And big weird stuff can happen too. Load the popcorn, it should be fun. That's it for today's quick day. Don't forget to get yourself subscribed on YouTube, and if you're interested in DeFi in general, head on over to thedefined.io or just check in with our Telegram channel. I'll see you on the next one. Bye!